Hello and welcome back to my channel for the 10 ways to organize your planner to get more done. Today, as the title suggests, I'm going to talk to you about 10 ways or strategies that you should be organizing your planner for productivity. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Number one, map out your month. The first way to organize your planner for more productivity is to map out your month. The way our lives are structured, a month is a great unit of time to map out in order to get a good big picture view of what's going on and what we need to be mindful of for our time management. On a monthly basis, it's a great idea to sit down with your planner and take stock of the month ahead. Make sure to map out special days like holidays, birthdays, anniversaries, appointments, scheduled meetings, and due dates for projects. Track travel plans, content calendars, and reoccurring items like paydays or trash days. If you set monthly goals, make sure to list those out on your monthly calendar as well. Number two, track your tasks for the month. Sticking to the month as a good basic unit of time management. During your monthly planning session, it's also a great time to make a list of tasks that you want or need to accomplish in the month. If you have project plans or lists of to-dos, I recommend reviewing these and identifying which task belongs to your month so you can have all your to-dos listed out on one master monthly task list. For habits, routines, or reoccurring tasks that you want to keep track of, I recommend listing those out on a monthly action tracker that gives you the ability to check off these individual items in one place, saving you lots of precious space in your planner. Number three, manage your week. Once you have a plan for your month in place, you can break down your plans into weeks. When I plan my weeks, I like to first identify any appointments or scheduled items and make sure those are clearly marked in my planner. Next, I turn to my master monthly task list and assign tasks to my week overall or to specific days in my week. I try not to plan too far ahead and leave plenty of white space or buffer time in my days because you never know what surprises might pop up in your week and nothing is worse than over planning only to leave tasks incomplete. In order to avoid over planning each week, I like to identify three to five projects that either need to be completed or moved forward during the week so that I stay focused on my essential tasks and don't take on too much at one time. Number four, balance your workload with a yearly project tracker. Another great way to organize your planner so that you are staying organized but not overwhelming your schedule is to project plan. If you've ever heard the phrase, you can have it all, just not all at once, then you understand the concept of my yearly project tracker. Over the course of a year, I might have dozens of projects I want to complete, but I can't do them all in one month. So breaking them out over the course of the year gives me the sense that there is time for everything when I am intentional and have patience. Number five, plan out your projects. Now, when I have a project I want to complete, it's important for me to create a project plan where I can keep all the details in one place. Think of a project plan like a to-do list of like items that have a specific objective in mind. Making a simple task list for a project is great, but I like to take things one step further and use project planning pages where I can lay out tasks alongside a clear description of what I'm trying to achieve and any resources or notes that I need to consult along the way. Number six, get it out of your head and on paper. If you struggle to find clarity with your planning, then this tip is going to be essential for you. From time to time, on at least a monthly basis, if not more frequently, I like to perform a brain dump. A brain dump is a funny way of saying a mental download, or the process of writing down all the tasks, information, and ideas that you've been holding onto in your mind. Despite a popular misconception, our brains are not meant for storing information, but for processing information. So if you have a hard time planning or finding clarity, 
A brain dump can really help you clear your mind of clutter through the simple act of writing things down. But once you're done writing everything down, what do you do with all of that information? Great question. This is where I like to use a prioritization matrix to help me identify which tasks need my attention and which can be delegated to someone else, added to a to-do list for later, or deleted completely. By taking the time to understand which tasks are important, not important, urgent, and not urgent, my planning becomes so much simpler and I get an instant sense of clarity. Number seven, brainstorm your brilliant ideas. Now, before I can schedule my tasks into the calendar portion of my planner, I need to have a good idea of what I'm working on, right? Before I even make a project plan, I need to brainstorm to help me outline my ideas and decide what I want to accomplish based on the problems I'm facing or the raw ideas that I want to bring to fruition. So I will have a brainstorming session or a few sessions where I use a specifically designed planner insert to define my problem or objective and then come up with ideas to solve the problem. This insert that I designed is a great tool to help me organize different steps or categories of information and then create the skeleton of a project plan that I can review and edit until I feel confident moving forward. Of course, plans laid out on a brainstorm will then be codified into a project plan. Number eight, take notes. Your planner is made to be written in, and studies have shown that writing things down actually helps us improve our memory and productivity. So having some lined note sheets in your planner for extra information that doesn't quite belong in your calendar is always a great idea. I use the notes section in my planner to keep lists of quotes, meal ideas, and inspiration for my life and business. The options are endless, so make sure you have some spare note sheets to use as needed. Number nine, index it. What is the point of filling your planner with all this important information if you can't refer back to it and find what you're looking for when you need it? One of the drawbacks of using a paper planner is that they lack a search function to help you locate text, but by numbering your planner pages and using an index, you can create your own system for tracking the contents of your planner for quick reference in the future. You can create a simple list by page number and page contents, or create categories of information and list out the pages that contain that information for you to track. And number 10, use it or lose it. Your planner can be a powerful tool to help you organize your life and achieve your goals, but only if you use it regularly. Becoming a daily planner is definitely a habit that you can build through repetition and by using a planner that is functional enough to contain everything you need to plan. I find that so many people struggle to use their planner because they actually have to use two or more different planners or notebooks in order to achieve all of the tips I shared with you today. That is why I highly recommend that if you struggle with planning, to purchase the Charmed Life Master Planner. The Master Planner is a functional planning system of my own design that includes all the inserts you need to organize your life and get more done. The Master Planner isn't just one single planner, but a family of different planners so that you can choose the precise system that suits your needs. First of all, the Master Planner comes in two varieties, bound and print on demand. You can choose this matte black undated bound version of the planner or the 2019 dated version in a white marble effect. Both of these bound versions are half letter dimensions, eight and a half inches high by five and a half inches wide and only one inch thick, making them very compact and lightweight options you can carry in most bags. Next, I now have three formats for the print on demand master planner. Let's review them from smallest to largest. Starting with our smallest print-on-demand planner, the personal size master planner is formatted to fit personal file effects, size binders, and equivalents. It contains all the inserts you saw today, formatted for the smaller system with a week on two pages vertical layout. Next, the A5 half letter master planner fits A5 or half letter binders as the name suggests. 
Again, this print on demand planner comes with all the same inserts you saw today with another great week on two pages vertical planning layout. Finally, the A4 Letter Charmed Life Master Planner fits A4 or US letter sized binders. Same great functional planning system as its siblings, but with a more detailed week on two pages view that gives you the space to list out a lot more information that you might need for your week. So what are you waiting for? I would love for you to purchase one of my Charmed Life Master Planners because it truly is a unique planner system that is designed for functional planning and productivity. I will leave links down below to all the planner options so you can choose the system that speaks to you. And of course, don't forget the Master Planning Masterclass, my companion class for the planner that will walk you through the functional planning philosophy, how to get the most out of the planner, and help you to overcome the three most common planning mistakes. I can't wait to hear about how you're using your Charmed Life Master Planner to organize your life and improve your productivity. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up by hitting the like button and feel free to share it with friends and family on social media. For more behind the scenes of my productivity, life, and business, make sure you're following me on Instagram at Miss Trenchcoat, where I post productivity inspiration for you daily on my stories and feed. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos by me. And until next time, bye bye